Hey guys, Scriptrooper here with another video, and I tweeted yesterday about, you know, why, I just tweeted why was this changed, and it was just a, a picture of the original Anakin Force Ghost with Yoda and Obi-Wan, just to see what people would say and all that type of thing, and uh, I got a lot of feedback from sort of both sides, sort of every side, a lot of people had different opinions, and I just wanted to go over them and just sort of give you my take, because... As usual, it's probably going to be different than everybody else's, or almost everybody else's. So one person responded by saying, It is stated in the Knights of the Old Republic games that Force Ghosts only appear how the spirit wishes to be remembered. In Anakin's case, he appears as he did when he was a hero of the Republic and Obi-Wan's friend. Um, so you guys will have to let me know in the comment section exactly when they declared this. Was it... Um, a subsequent game, I know the first one was 2003, and the Anakin Force Ghost appears in the 2004 Special Edition, but it does kind of seem like that's just a change that they made, because it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, right? Because if they could appear how they want to appear, why would the rest of them all appear as their old selves, <laughs> right? Like, in the originals, Yoda and Obi-Wan and Anakin are all the way they looked when they died, just before they died. So why wouldn't Obi-Wan have been like, oh, I want to be my younger self, my Clone Wars self. Like, I, I don't fully get that. The whole point of it was, is they looked like they did the last time Luke saw them. Luke wouldn't know young Anakin's, you know what, from a hole in the wall. So I don't get how that argument really jives. So Anakin wanted to look totally different than when he saw Luke with his own eyes. When he said to him, take my mask off, I want to see you with my own eyes. No, I'm going to look like I did, you know, 25 years ago or whatever, 20 years ago. Like, right? That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. And then there's other arguments that people have made like, oh, he wanted to look like he did before he turned bad. Well, when did he turn bad? Was it when he went and killed all the sand people? Was that his beginning to turn to the dark side? I don't know. Some people would make that argument. When exactly... Did he turn bad? And if he turned bad at that moment, then that's Clone or Attack of the Clones, excuse me, Anakin, who's younger and has the little braid, is the Padawan Anakin. So where along that line do, do you how do you gauge that? Because his his turn to the dark side was gradual. If unless you're saying, well, it's the act of killing the other Jedi or the youngling. So I don't know. I don't know how you gauge that. So I find that argument a little bit weak. George Lucas said that. He thought replacing the original Anakin Force Ghost with Christensen would help people connect the prequels to the original, or help connect the prequels to the originals, bringing it full circle. Which, for me at least, is again a kind of a weak argument because you're saying that they're not connected without that happening. Like, Vader is still Anakin. Like, I, I don't get it. You see Yoda through the whole six films, you see Palpatine through the whole six films. I mean, if he's actually saying that that's what connects the films, what was he doing the whole time he was making the prequels? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, that seems just kind of like a made-up argument. It feels like he just changed it to change it, uh, you know, to me. And so, I don't know. That one's a little weird, too. One person says, When Anakin threw off the Vader persona, he saw himself as he was before he gave in to the dark side. And again, as I said earlier, we can. it's hard to gauge when exactly he did, but we do know that he gave himself back to the good as the old Anakin Skywalker. So he was no longer on the dark side. And again, he was who he was to Luke when he finally saw Luke with his own eyes. So why would you change that? So Luke's, again, just looking at this young guy who looks absolutely nothing like the guy he saw, right? I don't like that either, and I'll discuss that as well. So the whole Sebastian Shaw and all those other things as well. There's, there's there's a lot to this, actually. Someone says Anakin appearing as the Force Ghost becomes a payoff. I, again, I don't really understand that because you saw the scene where he's with Luke as older Anakin. Uh, Christensen was more recognizable as Anakin Vader through his two films than this actor's mere seconds. Okay, well, then that's a marketing thing. Because, I mean, you do see Shaw, Sebastian Shaw, in the movie as Anakin. There's an entire scene, <laughs> right? It's very emotional where he, him and Luke speak before he dies. So in that sense, I guess it's just a, a marketing thing. And one guy says, because no one knew who that guy was, and the thought process would be he reverts back to who he was before turning evil. But 
again, he goes back to the light, kills the Emperor, and the person Luke sees is Sebastian Shaw, whether you know who that guy is or not. And if you don't know who he is, if you watch the movies, like if that force ghost appears and you're like, who is that? Less than 10 minutes after you just saw him as Anakin Skywalker as Luke's dad. I don't know what to tell you. That's a little bit strange to me. And then one guy said, because it was difficult to believe that a 42-year-old man, blonde, blue-eyed as a ghost, he looks like someone in his 60s with Arab features. Let me get back to that one. Every Jedi that died and became one with the Force reappears as themselves from the moment they died, except Anakin. So it would make zero sense for him to appear to Luke as his 22-year-old self, as opposed to the Anakin that Luke knew and helped redeem. And that's where I kind of, like, I agree with that, as I already said. But this other tweet, I'm going to go back to this one, because it was difficult to believe that a 42-year-old man, blonde and blue-eyed, as a ghost, he looks like someone in his 60s with Arab features. Okay. This is actually true. And I think this is where George made a big mistake. Because, and I think this is also partly why he changed it. Because he didn't consider the timeline properly when he was doing the prequels, in my opinion. And I'll, and I'll explain. Because, first of all, look at how much Obi-Wan ages. I don't think he really, like, I think he started the films and he... he selected his cast but then he either didn't do a big enough gap in the in the prequels like it didn't go for long enough where maybe Anakin becomes Vader later in his life rather than when he's 22 or whatever but if that was his plan from the beginning that that was the timeline then Alec Guinness is way too old in the originals and Sebastian Shaw is certainly way too old and even the way that uh, Lars and Brew age is, is is way too much. So a lot of those things were mistakes he made along the way. So yes, I 100% agree that Sebastian Shaw looks way too old to be a 42-year-old dude. I 100% agree. Now, having said that, in the Vader suit, it works because he's bald and scarred and marred and all that stuff. So he do- he, he doesn't look anything he just looks like a messed up guy but if that's the actor george had chosen to use he should have de-aged him for the force ghost scene i don't know why he has gray hair like dude there's hair dye there's hair dye in the 80s (laughs) he could have dyed his hair brown he could have uh, put some makeup on him and made him look younger but he didn't he chose not to do that and I don't know why. I, I Again, these are mistakes George did make along the way in some of these movies. But I personally think the biggest mistake he made wasn't any of those things. I don't think any of this would even be discussed if he had just simply used David Prowse for it. I, I don't know why he didn't. If you look at David Prowse, he's younger than Sebastian Shaw at the time they filmed this significantly. And he kind of looks like an older version of Hayden Christensen in a lot of ways. Like you could, you could easily say that after becoming Vader and everything that went on and the aging process of a Sith and everything that David Prost would actually kind of at the time would have matched the age of what Anakin would have been and looked enough like Hayden to be very believable. And I don't know why George went with Shaw. When Prost had played Vader the whole time. And I know Prost was very upset about it and actually did... And I think he funded it himself, I'm not entirely sure, but he actually got a very professional crew and set and everything and makeup artists and everything and reshot the scene with Luke and Vader when Vader takes his helmet off um, with him as Vader because he was devastated, I guess, that he wasn't able to do that and that they brought in this other guy at the last minute. And he was he was quite insulted by that as well. Shaw was a, a different type of actor and had a different type of look that he wanted to go for. But again, if he would have just used Prowse from the beginning and honored, you know, the fact that Prowse played Vader for three movies with a mask on, and then finally gives him an opportunity to really act. And by the way, Prowse's acting in the suit is really good. It's not easy to uh, uh, reflect emotion and all that stuff with your body language. And he really does do a a phenomenal job of that. And I think it would have been really cool if 
George would have just let him be Vader in that last scene. I've listened to the audio. It sounds really good. He does the voice well and it, and it's emotional and all that. But unfortunately, he can't release it because it's copywritten. And uh, George is never going to let him do that. Even though, again, I think he should. Well, I guess it's not his property anymore. But Disney's just let him release it. Let him put it on YouTube. Who cares? Like, what's wrong with that? Like... Certain things like that I don't understand. Just like, why can't you just release the originals despecialized? Like, who cares? You're not hurting anybody. Why Why wouldn't you, right? Make a bunch more money. Like, who cares? Um, so, anyway, that's my thoughts, guys. I just think they should have went with David Prowse. And I don't know why they didn't. And, I, I, again, I don't see the, the reasoning behind having a young Anakin there. It doesn't really make sense when Luke is the one looking at him. That's really kind of weird. And then, and then, on top of that, people thinking, well, it's because he's the guy who played Anakin in the prequels. So you're, you're, you're sacrificing story for the audience in the sense, like you're sacrificing. Well, you're even sacrificing the audience in a sense, because the audience is seeing Luke see his dad. Now the audience is seeing Luke see this guy. The audience saw that Luke doesn't even know who he is. So for me, I don't like it. It's cool. If you like it, I don't think it ruins the movie at all or anything like that. Although I don't like some of the special, uh, specialized version stuff. I did a whole video about the stuff I liked and disliked about the specialized versions. I don't dislike all of it. That particular one I thought was totally unnecessary. It doesn't ruin anything. However, again, I go back to it. It should have just been David Prowse and we could have just called it a day and none of this would even be being discussed. George wouldn't have, I don't think you even needed to switch it to young Anakin if you had David Prowse because he, again, he looks a lot like him. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think, uh, whether you were for or against or whatever your thoughts were. Um, I just thought this was a really interesting topic and did get a lot of traction on Twitter. So I figured I'd do a YouTube video about it and see what you guys think over here. And so if you do like this content, please like and subscribe. It always helps the channel and feel free to check anything else on my channel and have yourselves a really good day.